Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at Mega Forever and the latest updates as of the beginning of 2022. So I did a review of Amiga Forever 9 a little while back and now we're on 9.2 or what's sometimes referred to as R2. There have been a few um, improvements in this, not too many, um, but it's definitely going in the right direction. Now, if we go to the setup wizard, uh, the first thing I've noticed is that uh, when you're using high DPI screens, this is looking much, much better now. Uh, the layout is all nice and clear. Um, beforehand, you'll probably see in my previous video, yeah, it was, it was just a mess. And I'm glad to report that that's all fixed now. Um, going through the settings, everything the same, um, except for LHA. And one of the things, if you load up um, the Amiga Forever website and they show all the things that have been improved, improved setup wizard, yep, definitely agree with that, that has been improved. So let's have a look at the list of games. Well, surprise, surprise, nothing much has changed in this list really. And I guess really they haven't got any li extra licenses to the games they had already. If I go to uh, Antarctic Adventure and go to the uh, web link, uh, you'll see, oh yeah, yet yeah, again. Okay, so it's nothing to do with the game. Um, they have not curated their list of games. In one of the things that they've mentioned that is a new or enhanced feature is that they're continuing best-in-class support for content curation, high DPI and mixed displayed environments. I'm sorry to give a, a dig at you, Kalanto, but I don't think you're doing this. Best-in-class, yeah, we, you're the only one in class at the moment, really. doesn't look that professional i'm sorry to say that I, I still stick by that moving on for that anyway arcade mode let's have a look at arcade mode let's see what changes have been made don't remember this a to z that's actually quite useful so yeah i can just skip to a game and go okay i need s i'm looking for soccer kid okay and i can just flick to the s in that so yeah um nice one Kalanto. that's a good um, addition there so yeah uh, improved handling of game controllers that's good to see mice and keyboard devices I didn't have any issues with the devices that I've got so um, which is good uh, so maybe somebody else out there had issues with a certain controller and hopefully that's been improved uh, and then the key one for me that I'm really interested in is the LHA archive extraction and WHD load import and playback features. Basically, it means we now support WHD load. Fantastic. So let's load up a load of WHD load games. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to get loads and loads of WHD load games. So hopefully you've got a collection already. If not, check out one of my previous videos. And let's see about add in one of these. Now, it should be fairly easy because if I find games such as um, Tolkien, let's choose Tolkien 3. And if I double click on it, yep, it comes up in Amiga for Forever and uh, comes up with an RP9 setup. And it's detected that the model of the machine is WHD low, which is good. If I click on OK, at crashed. Interesting. This has happened to me once before. Okay. Yeah, the system's just completely frozen up. Okay, so let's just close it all down. Maybe we shouldn't have Amiga Forever loaded up in the background at the same time as double clicking. That would be a bit crazy if that's so. In which case, bug report. Um, let's, let's try opening up Token. And then does that work? Yeah, okay, that's a bit weird. So if you've got Amiga Forever open up already and then you just double click on an LHA WHD load game, it seems to crash it. Um, but yeah, it's opening up Terracon. And as you can see, yeah, that's, that's working quite well. 
Um, we've got some extra features like times two, or we've still got the full screen. Okay, let's close that for the moment. I'm just going to try that again. Okay, so we've got Amiga Forever opened up again. I'll go to my collection of games. Uh, let's pick something in the G's. What do you want? Uh, let's go with... It's, uh, I was going to say goblins. Where's goblins? Goblins. Um, I need to be looking in the O's, don't I? Goblins. Oh, I don't know. Golden Axe. That's, that's, that's a good one. So double click on that. Can I click on OK? No, I can't. It crashes. Right, so if you've got Amiga Forever already open, it crashes. Oh, dear. OK. Uh, hopefully that gets fixed soon um, so yeah you've got to make sure that it's closed and then if I double click on it now I bet this will just work yeah it does okay so there you go hopefully Kalanto if you're watching that uh, you can get that fixed uh, hopefully I've, I've shown that clearly enough uh, that bug it's good to see that feature anyway I think that is a positive that we see WHD load support anyway in the system so as a complete beginner to the Amiga, I recommend that you download me Amiga Forever anyway, because uh, there's some key files which are called Kickstart ROMs that you require that are um, in this. And then you can branch out later on after playing a few games, if you really enjoy this system, to then look at things like FSUAE, then you've got the likes of WinUAE, which I've got loads of guides on, and really what is powering a lot of this under the hood. And you can tinker and make up your own systems. So I hope that you found this video useful. And if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's fine. And I will hopefully see you in another video. Goodbye.